Nope. You go home and practice, Lola. <laughs> we'll reconvene in the morning. Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where powerful guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Lucy Lawless. Lucy, let's see what's on, shall we? I'm very excited. All right, let's do it. All of a sudden, the lights were all funny. All of a sudden, the music got louder. All of a sudden, I'd fall in love with the girl. My the first checkout. job. Your first gig. And this was a sketch comedy series. And we love to be ugly. You know when you've got pimples painted on your face? Yeah. Or <laughs> much better than when you have real pimples it's on your true. face. You yes. kind of celebrate Stunt it. Stunt pimples are always better. Oh, there's me handling my first sword. My first lobster. Coming from a country like New Zealand, where the population is less than five million, was it more or less likely that you would make it as an actress? Well, I mean, I thought it was just assured because if you do it, you know, it just naturally follows that you will eventually be on some big American show and it would be a success because uh -huh. that's how green I was. But I think my that's not my how it works. <laughs> yeah, people would ask my mother, well, what does Lucy want to do? And she said, oh, well, she wants to be an actress. And they go, oh, good luck with that. You know, poor her. But um, I was just oblivious and, and very positive, and it worked out. It sure did. That's the understatement of the year. All right, next up. There are some spots open on the local yachts, <gasps> and a couple of crew. This is where I'm playing a Greenpeace activist. That's right. And later on, I would grow up to become an activist with yes. Greenpeace, largely based on my research and the way I'd met these people we were portraying on the show. And you've been working now with Greenpeace for more than a decade. Yeah, really back in the 80s, I started um, supporting, um, you know, financially making a little donation, whatever I could afford at the time. But um, for since about 2010, I got much more involved and then got arrested. Lawless got Pretty, lawless. I know, but I've always been like, in my mind, like I'm a total good girl and a real, not a rule breaker because mm -hmm. I've never had any problem. Really, the rules seemed perfectly sensible to me. But you scaled a ship. We did. We sort of broke into a port, which is very... To, you know, very much not allowed. You know, but but my husband didn't know because if you're going to break the law, you don't make your partner complicit in the crime. Plus, he wouldn't agree. So he woke up one morning, turned on CNN, and there's his wife on top of an oil rig. Right? We. Oh, was, when did he realize that you then, were coming? At that home? moment, <laughs> it was uh, it shook his world because you know we're law-abiding people, but in some cases, peaceful civil disobedience is is required, I'm afraid. I like you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there will be more to come. All right. <laughs> oh, hello, Zena. Okay, we've got to talk about that battle cry. Well, it was kind of like my, uh, the guy who had later become my husband said, we need, a, she needs a signature call like Tarzan okay. had one. We need one for Zena. And I was looking at the TV and there were these Arabic women at a funeral and they were protesting the death of some kid in the community and they were ululating, you know, doing that yeah. cry that Arabic women do. And I tried to do it and I couldn't, so I just twisted it to do my own version of it and it out came the Xena thing. Can you teach me to do it? Yes. Okay. Say. Now do it, get louder and louder. Yeah, there you go. In the back of the car, when the kids are driving you crazy, you pull that one out, it's over. You win. I know that this initially wasn't intended, but this character became a lesbian icon, which was... I actually think it was intended by the writers and producers. They knew what they were doing. Oh, really? It's just we didn't know, and it obviously wasn't um, requisite that we understand that dynamic and um when did you catch on like episode eight i think we were filming and the um village voice did an article michael musto about this new feminist lesbian icon and we were like you're so crazy you know <laughs> and then it's like okay that's cool that's new that's you know where it's at and that community really made the show hip and a success so i've always been very grateful and, and feel a great loyalty to them Next up. The good news is that your president, Laura Ross. How did the Xena fans differ from the BSG fans? Uh, the BSG people are much more um, uh, sci-fi, very scientific, very intense. It's a dark show, so they have a lot of 
tolerance for that. Mm. It's a really, it's quite a claustrophobic world. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Xena fans are all about light yeah. in all its, all, in all senses of the word, and they're about self empowerment. Whereas the other show is about survive, grim survival. A dark world filled with robots. Yes, yeah. skin jobs. Cylons. Yes. I always knew that my character was a Cylon. It's a big secret, but um, I mean, that was a super intense role. And beautiful, beautiful people on it. They're wonderful, but it's, it's a physically dark world too, you know, we're in space. Bloody space, don't go everybody. It's horrible. <laughs>
this incredible woman, and then the blockage became clear where it was nothing to do with it. She is everything I dreamed she would be, Claire Tonkin. And she um, put together an amazing team and they wrote it in 10 weeks, 10 episodes in 10 weeks. From the meeting to rap was like 13 months. Amazing. So just some, so meant to be, it has really good juju, this show. In fact, okay, this is a little bit naughty to tell out of school, but tell our it. big competition for the premiere in Australia mm -hmm. They put the wrong episode. They, they aired the episode from the week before. They aired it again by mistake. Like, this is how wickedly good our juju is, yeah. that it even, like, stymied the poor, um, to the point where I feel sorry for the opposition. Lucy, thank you so much for surfing by. My Life is Murder is now airing on Acorn TV and streaming on the Acorn TV app. See you next week on Couch Surfing. Bye, y'all. <laughs>